Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is the impact of the elections, question mark. I am joined by my distinguished colleagues, Bobby Norman and Ty Miller. And we've had a great meeting this morning discussing the uh, election results so far in relation to the markets, your portfolio and our client's financial blueprints. If you've been watching our blogs over the past few weeks, we've talked about midterm elections and that from a historical standpoint, it's not who wins so much by the party as it is that people get a direction about Congress and who may be involved in the decision making. And with that, uh, from there, we start to see money come back into the markets. Uh, The uncertainty uh, is put aside and investors start to put their money back into the, the stock and bond market. Uh, we've got some great information for you today to discuss the strong points, the other things that are going on in the market that may actually override the impact of the elections, regardless of who takes the House. Uh, we know the Democrats have the Senate. Regardless of all that, let's focus on earnings, corporate earnings. Let's focus on corporate profits. Let's focus on consumer spending. And let's focus on inflation. Bobby, you did awesome today. Uh, I've really enjoyed the dialogue talking about consumer spending, the stock market, and corporate profits. And you got some great charts. Explain that to uh, our viewers. Yeah. While the market will have to wait a few more weeks to get clarity on what the makeup of Congress will look like, we can give an update on two important pieces that drive stock prices and the economy, and that is consumer spending and corporate profits. First, looking at an update on consumer spending, you can see at the top of this chart that the consumer continues to be a bright spot, even with higher inflation and a Federal Reserve basically intent on slowing down demand uh, with raising interest rates. Second, we are almost at the conclusion of third quarter earnings season, which has been mostly positive. And focusing on corporate profits seen at the top of this chart, it's a great sign for the market that corporate profits continue to climb higher. So the combination of strong consumer spending and corporate profits continues to be a positive for markets going into year end. The third point we're looking at as a positive is that after the strength seen in the market in recent weeks, 56% of stocks are above their 200-day moving average. This is higher than in August at the previous high. And we look at this from a momentum standpoint, uh, which should be a positive development for stocks going into year end. So the consumer is strong, corporate America is strong, and the average stock has positive momentum, all helping the market fight off what's been an aggressive Fed uh, raising rates. And Bobby, I I thought that was excellent. It also goes to show that while the news media may be focused on the elections, and don't get me wrong, there's important details there. There are a lot of other variables and opportunities that are taking place uh, in this economy and markets that can have a positive impact. And I think you've done a great job emphasizing that. And any of our viewers, uh, you know, as our clients, you want to have more dialogue about that, don't hesitate to call or send us an email because we would love to talk to you about it. Also, don't forget on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, our podcast on YouTube, we're going to continue this dialogue. And one of the big dialogues this year has been inflation. And Ty, you did a great job talking about uh, what we're seeing in inflation. Uh, the, The changes may be occurring. So elaborate on that in relation to what Bobby's talking about on, on positive things about consumer spending and corporate profits. Yeah, as you alluded to, you know, one catalyst of the market is, is the election is over. You know, that's a catalyst in and of itself. Um, yeah. Another catalyst is this inflation report we got on Thursday. So, you know, if you were watching the stock market, you, you probably saw uh, an unbelievable jump on Thursday. It was the highest market bounce in two years. It, it, is it, you know, a bear market bounce? Is it the start of a new bull market? Um, you know, we can't be sure yet, but what we can be sure of is that um, the market took that inflation number very, very positively. So we're not at the point of deflation yet, but it is safe to say that the worst is behind us. Uh, it is increasing at a much slower rate, which is very positive news. Um, 
core CPI, which, which is basically just inflation minus energy and food prices, which are a little more variable, um, only rose 0.3% month over month. It's up 6.3% year over year. That's something that the Federal Reserve is looking at when they're making determination about their rates. And, and you know, on that topic, right after the Fed spoke here at the beginning of the month in November, uh, it was kind of 50-50. Are they going to do a 75 basis point hike in December or a 50 basis point hike? Those odds after this after this report have flipped to 80% chance of just a 50 basis point hike. Um, so that that that's also good news. Uh, you know, the, the bond market took that in stride as well. Bond prices rallied a little bit, yields came down. Um, the Fed funds terminal rate, which we're seeing for the for the next foreseeable future, it's something we went over with uh, a week or two ago on this blog. Um, as you can see in this chart. Uh, they they really dropped substantially. So we saw a lot of a lot of uh, numbers over five percent uh, in the future. All those numbers are now cut down below. So really, just a lot of things that that impact you as a as a person. Of course, inflation. We know how that impacts you. But then Federal Reserve bringing down rates, um, possibly not not necessarily uh, cutting rates, but just slowing the the pace of rate hikes can be uh, can can be another catalyst for this market, perhaps. Yeah, very much so. And the market can take care of itself too. Uh, the market is always looking ahead. So, uh, you know, in anticipation that uh, rate hikes will slow down. And it also, as we look going into 2023, we see a lot of positives from this data that we, we're, we're currently looking at. So it, we're not far away from Thanksgiving. We have a lot of things to be thankful for. Uh, here at Five Plan Partners, we're thankful for those of you that are clients of ours, those of you that watch our blog and share it with family, friends, and, and colleagues, really appreciate uh, the way you've done that. Uh, it's opened up a lot of opportunities for us here. And in addition to that, we just want to say that going into these next weeks, in concluding 2022-2023, we see tremendous amount of positives uh, that uh, could really prove to be very beneficial for our clients uh, on the portfolio strategies and on their financial blueprints. We're always available to talk to you about it. We want you to have a great week and know that every day we come into this building at Five Plan Partners focused on our clients having a better, richer, fuller life. Take care and hope this information was beneficial for you today. Thanks. 